Human rights groups have been speaking out against government's decision to close refugee camps in the country. Kenya plans to close both, uh, both of them, uh, all of them, in a move that would displace more than 600,000 people. Now, this includes the Dadaab refugee camp, which is currently the largest in the world. Government is citing a heavy economic, security and environmental burden to keep these camps open. Nairobi maintains that Somali militant group Al-Shabaab remains a terror risk should these camps remain open. Most of the refugees in Kenya are Somalis who have been displaced by decades of conflict. Now certainly there's been plenty of reaction on social media to these planned closures of the refugee camps. CCTV's Catherine Ogunda talks us through some of that reaction. The debate on the status of Kenya's two refugee camps picked up pace in 2013 when Kenya, Somalia and the UNHCR went into a trapezoid agreement that would see refugees take part in voluntary repatriation. In early 2015, the government toyed with the idea of closing the camps, however was pressured by the international community not to. The controversial decision has caused outrage from members of the international community and people living outside Kenya. For those living in the country and have had to deal with numerous terror attacks since late 2011, the reaction is not really outrage but rather a show of concern. Betty Waiderero says she thinks the discussion on Dadaab and Kakuma being closed needs to be expanded and it's not just about the government versus NGOs. Medisan San Frontier, which was among the first organizations to ask the Kenyan government to reconsider its decision, tweeted the closure of Dadaab and Kakuma refugee camps in Kenya highlights continued and blatant neglect of millions of refugees around the world. Chitai Murabula says AU should help Kenya cope with the challenges of running the refugee camps. He feels that the camps should not be closed. And finally, SLK, a Kenyan, says the closure of refugee camps is long overdue in Kenya. The issue should go beyond the debate and onward to implementation. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.